95 pound water bottle from Stone Island. Do I need this? Yes. Uh, when I first saw this Stone Island bottle, for I think it was about 120 pound, 130 pound, I thought it was ridiculous. But do you know what? After looking at it in close up, I actually really like it. I'm feeling it. Check this out. Comes with a nice box. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I'm loving this, man. Super excited about this review today. Lots of different items from Represent. I've got needles, I've got some Stone Island pieces in. I've got a few bits of Montclair, Ami, Puma. What else? Why free? Do you know what? This is going to be a wicked video. Make your feet up. Let's begin. Right guys, what is good? Welcome back to another video with myself, Hoxton. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing tons of different items in. Oh, and I got this really cool Stone Island bottle, which I just showed you as well, so I'm gonna be doing a quick review on that. Guys, all these items are available from Louisa Aroma, and they're also doing a special 15% off selected items. So if you wanna see anything in this video, hit this link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. First brand I wanna to talk to you about is, I'm super excited about this one, is Represent. Now, Represent is a UK-based brand. I believe they're based over in Manchester or Stockport, one of the two. I think it's Manchester, but the guy that founded this brand is quite a young designer, and he's done really, really well because this brand has blown up over the past, I think, a year or two, and they've worked super hard to get where they are. What I love about this brand is the quality is really good. So even though I'm wearing this Ami sweatshirt and pants, the quality of these are really good, by the way. I really recommend them. But the price point can be a little bit more higher than some might like, whereas the represent I feel like the quality is pretty close but the price point is really reasonable so I thought I'd have a look at this and you know what I am not disappointed but not only that I got some tracksuit bottoms in to try and, to try and match those up so we got these nice pair of tracksuit pants here but that would go really really well so I got this one in the grey and got that one in the green there's also a black one so if you want to switch it up I think these two colours can go really well as well the black and the grey quality of this one is really nice it's quite thick and if you look on the inside of this you can see there's almost like a honeycomb finish to the inside of the material now that's a sign that the quality of these is pretty high pretty well made and quite a sturdy strong material some people might find that a little bit too hot for these spring summer times so if you want something that's a little bit lighter then maybe this could be something that you could save for more spring or for more autumn because definitely when it comes springtime this might be a little bit too hot sometimes I find in the evening it does get quite cold so this could be perfect for the evening strolls or evening times when you're going out as well so that's the represent stuff so I definitely recommend those right so that's that's that. Now, t-shirts. I thought the two t-shirts that I wanted to show you is something a little bit different. It's a brand called Ambush. They've been doing some really interesting things as of late, so Ambush is definitely one to check out. And another one, whoop, that's the wrong one. And another one is a brand called Covert. So these two t-shirts, I think, could be something nice and different for the spring, summer. Now, I went for the Ambush because I have been seeing this brand about for quite some time. The quality of this is quite nice. It's a little bit more lightweight in terms of the material, so this could be perfect for the spring, summer time when you want something that's gonna be not too heavy on the body. Or if you want something else, you can go for the Covert, which is a little bit different. You've got the nice little C with a nice stitching around there. And both of these are an oversized fit. So a lot of people are kind of more into the oversized fits now. I've been experimenting a lot with like different oversized stuff and I'm really enjoying it. So I think oversized is a really good thing to add to your collection along with your slim fit items. And these two brands could be something that could be interesting. Okay, so that's the Covert and that's the Ambush. Now, some other items that I got in. So we've got the Puma X Ami collaboration. So these two brands have collaborated and I'm really happy to see that they've gone ahead and used the Ami quality of their sweatshirt. They could have gone ahead and used the Puma quality, which I would say is not that it's a bad quality, Quality, but the Ami quality is really nice. So I'm glad they went ahead and stuck with that. So they've gone for something that's a little bit more of a heavier cotton and Ami is kind of low key luxury streetwear brand. So it's a lot of oversized relaxed fits, which they love over in France and Paris, by the way. So I'm glad to see they kind of kept with that aesthetic. And to match that as well, they've got these almost like basketball trousers, which are a little bit flared at the bottom. Now, as I said, I have been trying things that are a little bit different. Usually man like me, I'll be going for more slim fits. But do you know what? I challenge you to try something just a little bit different and try some of these oversized fits. I thought these two colors would go really well, so I thought the black 
and the green would go quite nicely so I thought that would be a nice a nice fit it reminds me of basketball kind of training trousers that I used to wear a lot of back in the day nice long pull cords there as well so that is the Ami stuff now moving on to you guys favorites I know is the Stone Island I'm a big fan of the Stone Island cargo pants I've got quite a few myself but these ones I thought were a little bit different with the pocket on the side there and the black kind of zip feature. These ones have a zip that go all the way down the side of the leg as well, so you can tighten them up and give them a little bit of tapering. But if you want them to be more of a loose fit, you can simply unzip them and it will just flare out just slightly. But not only that, it will allow the airflow to go up, to, up the trousers as well, so you get a little bit of breathability. These ones are quite nice. They're quite lightweight as well, so the material is really nice. But I think these will be perfect for the spring summertime as well. So if you want something that's gonna be not too heavy on the body, really light and fluffy. Fluffy, yeah man, fluffy. You know, that makes sense. Really light on the legs, then these ones could be ones to go for as well. These ones are not cuffed. A lot of my followers ask about cuffed or uncuffed. These ones are uncuffed, by the way, okay? So that's the Stone Island. Now, remember, guys, as I said, all this stuff is available from Louisa Villaroma, and they're doing 15% off selected items, so check the link in the description box below. Remember, if you use our link, and you go ahead and buy an item, we get a commission as well. So that also helps out the channel and helps out, helps sponsor all this stuff that we do to put out some of this wicked content. Right, next one. Now, every um, every year, Stone Island bring out a new palette of colors. This season, they brought out this kind of peach red, almost, I'd say, type of colorway. And they've got the nice tracksuit pants here. And also this jacket, which is a Naslan light watch row. What I love about this is it almost feels a little bit rubberized, almost type of material. It's highly water resistant. It's got the hood on there and I love this colorway. So yeah, that's the uh, Naslon Light Watch Row. What I've noticed is when the temperature drops a little bit towards the evening, it starts to get a little bit colder. So something like this could be a nice throw in because it's still got that summer color as well. The other thing I really like are these Stone Island jogger pants. I'm loving this colorway. This one's a size medium. So for the fans of the joggers, you can go ahead and check out to see if this colorway could be something for you. It'd be a nice addition to your wardrobe, okay? So yeah, by the way, these ones are cuffed at the bottom as well, because I know some of you love the cuff bottoms. If you do make a purchase from there, um, you do not pay any duties, you do not pay any taxes, it's all included in the prices, and the delivery is around 15 pounds. Now, some people might say that's a lot, but you know what, it's super fast delivery, and it's also free returns as well. So if you haven't got, if you've got any issues, you're not happy with the sizing or anything like that, you can send it straight over back to Louisiana via, via Roma and get an exchange or a refund. And don't forget, they're an official stockist as well, so all the brands here are officially stopped at Louisa Villaroma, okay? I was talking about this brand represent earlier on and I managed to get one of these tracksuit bottoms. Now, this could be a good alternative to the Stone Island. If you're not looking to spend the money on the Stone Island tracksuit pants because you find them a little bit expensive, then you could opt for the represent because the price point is quite decent on these. What I like about these is they're quite light, very light on the body. So for the spring, summertime, if you don't want something that's too heavy, obviously you probably don't because you're going to be sweating, then this is going to be a nice alternative also. It's a lightweight material, almost reminds me a little bit of the nylon, Stone Island's nylon uh, metallic material but this one's a little bit stretchy as well so that's quite cool got some pockets on the side there really well made and well put together so big respect to um, represent and also as I said they're a UK brand so if you want to support something that's UK then definitely check out the represent stuff because you know what I think they're banging these are these are decent worth worth the check out right so for the Montclair fans out there we've got this nice Montclair jumper and what I loved about this is the badge you gotta love the white badge on this jumper, it's really nice. Knitted and also it's got um, a mix of different materials. So you've got this kind of like polyamide padded material on the underarm and also on the shoulders. So it's a very, very kind of military inspired sweater. So I'm really feeling this one. I thought this one was really nice. That's directly from Montclair. Got the nice white badge, as I said there as well, which I think is a little bit different from the standard badge. So if you're looking to stand out a little bit, this could be a nice standout piece. I think this one would actually marry up really well with the represent pants or potentially it could marry up really nice with the Stone Island ones as well. So that could also be a nice match with the matching colors, okay? So yeah, man, I'm feeling that one. That is the Montclair. One of my favorite brands is Y3. I thought we'd try and get some Y3 in. 
Wifery for me is a bit of an understated brand. Um, I, I'm a big fan of the brand personally myself. Now, Wifery is actually a collaboration between Yoji Yamamoto, which is a Japanese, who is a Japanese designer, and Adidas. They've been going on for quite some time now. And I remember in Selfridges when I first started there, everyone used to go crazy for their trainers. So that was kind of like their main thing back then. Since then, they've kind of really expanded on their kind of clothing, a lot of technical wear, a lot of kind of street, street wear. Uh, quality is really good on this stuff as well. And it's quite oversized, quite a lot of oversized size fits and stuff that's a little bit different so yeah definitely worth um, considering is the Y3 stuff okay and last from the bunch needles now I've got the needles um, tracksuit pants I've been following this brand for a while and I remember actually when I visited a store recently in Liverpool that I saw this brand needles and I thought they were just a little bit different and a lot of people as I said I've been saying that they're not really wearing too much denim they're looking for a lot more kind of relaxed fits a lot more joggers uh, cargo pants so needles actually do really nice so think like palm angels type of style this could be a nice alternative to the palm angels if you're looking for something a little bit different they also do like a matching top to go with this and a, a whole bunch of various different colors as well so this could be something else to add to your collection or another brand to add to your collection yeah so that's the needles right moving on to the last crazy piece is this stone island heat reactive bottle now do you know what? When I saw this at first, I thought it was a little bit ridiculous, but I really, really like it. And do you know what? I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a bit too much. But after seeing it close up and feeling it and seeing the fact that it's actually heat reactive like that, I think it's really unique and really different and I really like it. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say this is a lot of money for a water bottle, but I think it's one of those ones where if you're a Stone Island fan and you're looking for some collector's pieces, this is something I think is gonna be a nice collector's pieces. I'm actually gonna pick this one up myself. I think it's really nice. But if you look at the detail throughout, it's quite nice, it's well made. It's a standard water bottle, but you've got the nice Stone Island design. It's a collaboration with a brand called 24 Bottles. So they're the actual the manufacturers of the brand and they've obviously got Stone Island to come and put their logo and design on it. So it's a little bit different. A Little bit of um, information at the bottom of the bottle there, which is quite nice. And yeah, overall, I think it's a really nice water bottle. Will I expect everyone to go crazy for this? No. Will I expect Stone Island fans to, like myself to pick up one? Possibly. I just think, I just like little quirky things from Stone Island as well. That's a little bit different that not everyone might go for. And I think this is one of those products. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna add this one to the collection for myself. So yeah, remember, um, they had quite a few different colors of this on Luisa Villaroma, so if you want to find some on there or they're sold out in other places, then check out Luisa Villaroma because you may be able to pick up one or two of these bottles, okay? Right, cool. So guys, listen, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got lots more videos like this coming. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what type of videos you want to see and what type of content you want, to, you, you want us to create because I'm really open for some new different ideas for you guys. I'm out of here. Follow us on socials, Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. Lots more videos coming. Peace out.